the best looking Black Clover Mobile seasonal skins, and that's the only compliment I could give them, are coming in two days time. Um, now, I think it's about two days, it might be a bit less. For me, it's going to be, I think, at 5 a.m. EST on the 17th. So Thursday or Wednesday night, you should be getting these two units. No maintenance because it is a mid-season patch. Well, not even a patch because this is pretty much all that's coming. And I mean, listen, we got two attackers. And they pretty much do nothing for the game, all right? Uh, a lot of people, though, are kind of excited to summon a bit. Now, you'll see that either people like to see the Charlotte skin, which looks beautiful, um, are talking about the fact that it's uh, summer. Or also, I made a negative tweet being like, um, worst ever release is coming. And people were um, saying they don't care how he's they are going to enjoy it. And... Um, I think there was other people, but basically a lot, a lot of people are either like, um, wow, that's a bit negative, or they're just happy that they could skip, right? So that's basically it. Um, we're going to go over their full kits. And let me, so I'm, I'm on Ali's account, and I don't know where they are. Um, I know they're maxed out. Like, I know that. I'm just, where are they? Now, Charlotte, there's no denying her skin looks absolutely beautiful. Like, her design... 10 out of 10, right? 10 out of 10. Even Yami's design is really good. I Where's my goat? Where's Yami? Is he close? Yeah, there he is. His design too is pretty good. Um, I like both of them. And of course, they have a special combo together. So there is always that. Um, now, if we just look at it, right? Let's, let's just go into it. So they did post Yami's skills. And unfortunately, unfortunately, man, it's, it's, the, it's the exact same. So... Yeah, it's unfortunate. I was really hoping that he would be buffed because it would have helped him a lot. Imagine these two units, like, at least together, like, top tier in PvP would have been nice. Would have been great. But maybe with Sekirei, there's always the Copium that Sekirei is going to make them good. But uh, I I don't have hope for this game anymore, guys. I, I Especially with these two units. Hey, hey y'all got that. Y'all got that. Um, I always like these graphics, though. It's cool, right? Um, I, I don't know. They just look pretty clean. They do a good job with these. So let's go into the kits. Um, I do, let me, I do want to show the combo for Charlotte and Yami. So let's do that real quick. Um, just, just, uh, you know, have some little fun with that. Uh, where are the two? So here they are. They have a special combo and it's kind of just reused animations from the from their respective ultimates and one was once from a ceremony yami which is very interesting um but hey i'd rather this than nothing i okay full i'd rather this than nothing right like that's the thing it's not anything crazy but at least we have special combos like it wasn't completely forgotten and i find this pretty cool right but you saw that was from ceremony yami and charlotte's was actually from her ultimate um, so if you want to see the rest of the skills, you could just check that out, uh, when we get them in the glossary. But now let's just head over to Pride Win and discuss their kits. So, uh, we'll do Charlotte first. Now, we do still have the stats screen, luckily. So let's go over the stats. First of all, we'll have Red Attacker, SSR. So we could see Charlotte, as uh, she's at 110, right? This is absolutely huge. Um, her attack stats are actually not horrible horrible but not the best right if we're looking at attacks it's the same between these two i guess it's it's pretty decent if we go to all the attackers though you could see that they are lackluster compared to like kiato raya even this yami this jack right it's especially raya um so it is pretty lackluster but they do make up for it with some other stats i guess charlotte more so because she has good speed um, her HP is not bad. Could have taken some more defense for sure. Um, now, in terms of for Yami, right? If we... Oh, right. We... Oh, do we have the stats? Yeah. So, her stats are nothing crazy. Decent crit damage. But it's mainly the speed. Now, for Yami, though, um, if we look at it... Oh, wait. Where's... Uh, here he is. So, for Yami, his stats, very good crit ratio. Like, look at this already. Very nice. Able to work well off of that. So, now... Oh, let's, uh, let's go into... That I really had it open from that. All right. Well, I guess you guys saw one of my school documents. I don't really, doesn't really mean much to me to be honest. Um. So Charlotte, 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 Charlotte. Her skill one and two are kind of okay. Like she's all right. Her skill one gives herself SP if the if Yami basically Yami because you kind of have to run them together. That's the main thing. They have to be ran together, which I don't really like. Um. So 
if your partner mage has four or less SP, you get one SP. And if Sunbath is present on self, you get 30 uh, speed. So, you know, we're going to start with the passives. I, I don't know why I didn't, to be honest. I don't know why I didn't. But, you know, here we go. We're going to start with the passives. If Yami is your partner mage, you get the Sunbath buff to yourself and your partner mage. So you and Yami get Sunbath. So when, 30, when you're below 30% HP, you get 90% lifesteal which um, usually is going to be enough to heal you considering their damage levels to at least like 70%, right? You're going to do like 10, 20k usually unless like there's no buffs on the enemies and you have a bunch of buffs, damage buffs on yourself. So, you know, you could, it, it's good. I just think that this could have also given damage reduction. If this gave 30% damage reduction with lifesteal, then this would have been a pretty good buff. I would have actually, this would have been a much different case if it gave damage reduction. Now, her do passives give uh, damage reduction to attackers when attacked by a defender, right? So when you just take uh, damage from a defender, you get all attacker allies 30% uh, damage reduction, which is decent, but considering the fact we're going towards an attacker meta, Noelle's leaving the meta, Mario might be joining the meta, so I guess there's that. These units might be good against the Fuego meta, to be fair, so we have to keep that in mind. Um, then debuff immunity for two turns for you and your partner mage only. If this was the whole team, that would have been so good, so good, but whatever. Um, so now that we have this in mind, skill one, uh, you, if some bath is on yourself, you get speed increase, so if you're below 30%. Um, then skill two is an AoE, puts mark on everyone, so like the other red charlotte. And then if you have some bath, you get a 30% attack increase to you and your partner mage. Um, then with the skill page, you inflict bleed. Okay, so it's a lot of if some bath is here, if some bath, right? And these are the good buffs increase speed, increase attack. Remember, she's an attack attacker. Then the alt for every instance of bleed, a bleed you get 45% increased damage. And if Swim Suyami is alive on your team and he does not have beach training, you give him beach training, which we're going to get to soon. So you look at it Yami, Yami, Yami already. Then with the combo, well, I, I mean, I'm more so going to. Where, where's. Is this, no, this is the one with Yami. So with Yami, you inflict Mark and then you get a 30% damage increase for you and Yami, which is like, okay, great. So everything revolves around Yami, right? Like this it makes her pretty good. When you consider that for Yami's, it also gives increased attack level three, which is good because her skill two, or yeah, her skill two gives a 30% attack, which could stack with level attack. Um, so when you consider all this, like, yeah, sure, they have pretty good numbers all in all, but then Yami like also doesn't really do too much. If beach, okay, wait, actually, passives first. Uh, if Swimshu Charlotte is your partner mage, there, there you go again. Grant the beach training buff to you and your partner mage. If Swimshu Charlotte on your team dies, grants you a beach training buff. So that's a immortality buff. So he could get two immo buffs. He could get immortality twice from um, his passive, okay, which is crazy. Now he gets 50% damage increase when attacking a defender, which I really think he would. they were meant for Mario Leona, which is a bit confusing because it's like, Sure, that's okay, but it's like you're not really seeing Mario enough for this to be warranted, right? Um, then LR5, if debuff is not present, all attack 30% for one turn on self, which is why Charlotte has debuff block. And it's like, that's okay. It's just you're limiting all attack and damage increase like to this. And it's like 50%. This for a second half of 2024 unit is crazy, bro. It's insane. This should not be happening. I don't know what they were thinking. This should have just been an outright damage increase, like 30% just outright. They should not be limiting it to defenders for this late in the game uh, DPS unit. If you're making it a full DPS, do not limit him to defender, okay? I don't care. Do not put a defender limit on this DPS who barely does anything else besides damage, right? Now, his skill one um gives himself sp if charlotte has four or more i'm just saying if charlotte because he's not going to be with anyone else but charlotte right and then if beach training is present on self inflicts bleed on an enemy dealing continuous damage for two turns skill two single target also uh bleed um then also if beach training is present on self which requires charlotte same as this you get a 20 percent mobility buff for your partner so charlotte gets 20 percent mobility which i kind of like loki i do kind of like now then the extra thing is if an enemy is taking two or more bleeds grant yourself and your partner mage to sp which is not bad but it's like two bleeds is a lot i they should have made bleed much easier they should have given yami an aoe like skill one aoe that applies bleed boom that's it um now alt removes this alt does a lot of damage i think i've done 700k with it so uh, remove barrier defense pen level five if some bath is on self 
And then upon killing an enemy using the skill, inflicts bleed on all enemies, dealing continuous damage for two turns. Um, now, what's very crazy is, remember, Charlotte's ult applies beach training if Yami doesn't have it. Beach training is the ammo buff, so Yami could technically have infinite beach training buffs. The problem is that Charlotte is weak and could easily die, where I definitely think if there was some extra defensive parts for Charlotte beyond one immortality, then it would have been pretty good. Um, so yeah, we kind of see, like, it's not bad. Like, you're going to get attack increase, damage increase, defense pen, all attack, attack percent, damage increase, right? I think I already said that. But it's like, that's basically all you're doing. They both have immortality, but they can remove immortality. They don't have any kind of defenses versus immo removal, right? No invulnerability, no protection. If they had protection, Jesus, they would be good. Um, the other problem is that they're two red units, which means they can't work with dark units. And they suck with mono light units. Because what other red unit are you using? Like, you can't use... Where, where's the... Okay, yeah, I was going to say... There's just not many other red units to use, right? If we go to the tier list, like, there's Dorothy. Great, but on a mono team, Dorothy ain't too good because there's no ammo removal. So with no ammo removal, that means Dorothy is pointless, all right? Then you put that with Fenrir. Fenrir's not really doing shit with them either. And why is that? Because he gives buffs that they don't need, right? That's, that's as simple as that. Um, now, you could make the argument that Fenrir for a cleave team with them will be great. You are right. Have fun getting up two attackers on the same banner to max dupes, max skill page, and both attack sets. And then have fun using them. Once you both max dupe them, and then you get their skill pages up, and you have both attack sets on them, enjoy them. That, yep. <laughs> Simple as that, right? Simple as that. Um, let's, let's go to uh, their skill pages, though. So Yami's, um, where is the passive? So upon attacking an enemy, taking bleed damage, give yourself a speed buff, which is actually very good long term. And then for Charlotte, upon attacking an enemy, taking continuous bleed damage, there's a 55 up to 100% chance to do extra damage. So like you do want this extra damage, you want a lot of this extra damage, but it's limited or behind dupes, right? Which I don't ever think is too good. Um, you look at this, like, you need to use a Wiyami, right? Now, you could get a lot of good stuff, like, I I'm not gonna deny that, but when you put it versus Mono Green or Black Divider, like, they can make quick work of you because they have MO removal. Unless you kill them immediately, which, let's think of it, against Black Divider teams and vulnerabilities in play, right? Um, and then against Mono Green teams on vulnerabilities in play, right? That It's just as simple as that. Um, now, with Finral, they wouldn't be too bad, okay? They're not going to be horrible, but I would say it's pretty accurate to say they're in B tier. I, I still would. I, I mean, maybe A tier could be made as an argument, but it still requires two attack sets. And why is that? Because guess what? They gave him attack buffs, right? The combo, sorry, skill 2, attack percent. And then Yami uh, combo gives attack, per attack increase 70%. So it's like it's a bunch of attack increases, that you kind of need to make use of. And if you don't, then what's the point, right? It's just, what's the point? I do think there's like a case to be made. But the thing is, the other federal team that I see working right now, um, the, the, the other federal team I see working is one with a certain guy named Zora, which means, yeah, you need to have an ammo removal unit to really be good. So if Sekre is an ammo removal, then federal mono red team is going to be good, right? If you want to pull for them, go for them. But I... It's not going to be worth it, guys. We have Salamander Fuegoleon coming up. We have Sekre and Lumiere coming up. And I just don't think it's worth it. Yeah, that, that's basically it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.